It's about time I take your order. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you are like me, this book is not anything of what you imagine it is. Wow. Five star read. And the last 50 pages, I cried twice on two separate occasions and then was completely shocked on a third. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you anything else, but wow. Gosh, I kind of feel like I'm in a reading coma after that last book. It was so amazing. And the one before that was pretty good too, so I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I want something else that's quick and easy. I think I'm just going to read this graphic novel real quick while I think about what I should like start next so yeah I have lots of choices <laughs> hmm that didn't take long it was cute and all but it really just made me want to reread the books let's see I like I especially like the full page uh, that, there's her most famous quote I like the full page images but it was cute Hey, what should I get next? Do you know? I think this one. He was by your bookmark. <laughs> hey guys, quickie update. I just got lunch at Sonic and I thought I better go ahead and film here because it's super bright and I tried to film in the school parking lot and I was all squinty, so yeah. So anyway, I hope people don't think I'm stupid. Nobody's parked next to me right now, so that's good. I didn't check before I started, so I guess I don't really care that much. Anyway, um, I have 75 pages left in Popular, a memoir by Maya Van Wagenen, and this is written by an 8th grader for 8th graders, so I'm not really the target audience, but it's been pretty fun. Um, I'm going to finish that before... I get home today, I think, because, I mean, it's super fast read, and, yeah, I'm enjoying reading these little short quickie things. It's just nice, like, I really enjoyed reading the tomes last month and in October, the heavy-duty stuff, but, yeah, variety is nice, so, yeah, and a pickup just parked next to me, so I'm outie. Look at that sky. Huh? Hey, guys. We've been playing the uh, put 20 ornaments each on the tree every day, and Gabriel got his first 20 up, and I only got 10, but, you know, I had to do household chores. Uh, but I wanted to report in, if you remember my observation last week, I got my evaluation today, and it was great! Yay! So keep up the good work, friends, and more positive vibes, because... I still have a 15 minute walk through evaluation this week and the kids are getting more squirrely every day. So yeah. And I finished another book on the way home. I, I didn't drive and read, but I picked Gabriel up from school so we could go to the grocery and I finished the last 10 pages in the car rider line. And yeah, this really um, stepped it up. I was kind of iffy the first half but the second half, it went where I wanted it to go, and it was a pretty good book. Like, it, it was uplifting for me, you know. Um, I mean, there were it, it was written by an eighth grader, but yeah. There were some good, good tips in here about, you know, how to treat people and what popularity really means. So, yeah, good stuff. And now, I get to pick a new one. And I got all my comments caught up today. And I remembered a lot of people saying how much they love this book. And, you know, it's little. And I'm into little right now. So, I think this one's next. Thought I'd give you a little update. Um, it is Tuesday. This is my last full wee wee, wee week of work. <laughs> and I'm so excited. Um, I was plowing through this last night. And it is so beautiful. Um... It's about a woman who contracted this virus that has made her um, chronically ill for years. Like, she can't even get out of bed, the first part of this story. And a friend 
gives her a snail that she just finds out on a walk with some violets that she digs up from nature and it's just about how she develops this relationship with the snail and the slow pace of life with this illness and it's just really beautiful to read and I could have sat and finished it last night but I suddenly realized that I didn't want to like I wanted to spread it out a little bit and you know enjoy the tranquil rhythm of the book so I decided to pick up another book and I grabbed my absolute darling by Gabriel talent and I apparently I'm finally in the mood for heavy-duty you know I've been reading a lot of quick light fluff in the last few days but I'm in the mood for something heavy duty and I picked this one up because so many people mentioned it in the comment section on my video when I hauled it um, apparently it's a pretty hard read so I'm looking forward to it though still um, and I'll let you know what I think when I finish but I got six pages read and then I went to sleep at eight o'clock. I know, I know. I told you, me and winter, we don't get along. Um, I'm in the doldrums. <laughs> it doesn't make me depressed, it just makes me lazy. I truly want to hibernate like a grizzly bear in the winter. I just, it's so dark and it's so cold and that just makes me wanna go to bed, so. <laughs> So I, I put this one down and I decided to pick this one up and I said I'm going to go get my shower at 7 and, you know, lay in bed and read and just ignore the housework. Um, so that's what I did and I got in bed and I went to sleep at 8. It is shameful. But anyway, maybe I'll get some reading done today since I slept nine hours last night. Woohoo! <laughs> You bad boy guy? Hmm? Ooh, you got one. Kill it. <laughs> hey, my big depository order came. My last big haul of the year. Probably my last at all. So, jumping right in. I got The Good People by Hannah Kent. You know how much I loved burial rites. This is beautiful. And I got Winter by Allie Smith, because you know how much I like Allie. And I got, what are you doing, guy? Stop it. I got Lily and Boxfish Takes a Walk. And I saw this on Big Haired Bookworm's channel, and, um, I have seen this book around quite a bit. It's about a older lady in New York, which I think is a delightful premise. Um, but when I saw it on Big Hair Bookworm's channel, I was like a magpie. I had to have it. You know what? I don't really care for the Roaring Twenties as an era. It doesn't interest me that much, but I love Art Deco and this is gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, and then, OMG. So, um, Ange has started reading Mary Stewart, and um, I am in love with the covers on those books that she has. Oh, I'm so in love. And I was having a hard time finding them, and then she told me that the covers on Book Depository are not the covers that you get. You actually get the covers that she has, so they just haven't switched out the image. So I got three. <laughs> this is the first one that she ever read, um, Nine Coaches Waiting. And these are apparent cozy mysteries with a slight bit of romance thrown in. Um, and this one reminds me so much of the trip my son and I took to Colorado um, last summer, so. So excited to have this oh, my very own gorgeous Mary Stewart covers and then I let myself pick two more I think there are nine total but I don't read a lot of mysteries so I tried to be conservative so I of course had to get touch not the cat because you know me and cats um, I don't know if there's really a cat in the cover I don't see one but anyway yeah and then I just picked one that I thought was really pretty so that was Moon Spinners. 
Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, so hopefully I will love Mary Stewart and really likes her. And then, you know, buy some more because they're so pretty. Yeah, okay, and so then we have some more cover by here. I'm not, I'm not ashamed of saying that I buy books for the covers. I don't know why that's a thing, but it, I have no shame. Um, these next two are bee books. <laughs> so I bought them because there's bees on the cover. <laughs> um, Yoko Ogawa, The Diving Pool. I saw this on um, Jen Campbell's channel. She mentioned liking it. This is, I believe, just two novellas or short stories in the book. And I don't know how I found out this had a bee on the cover because hers did not. But anyway, pretty cool, right? And then another short story collection, Kiss Kiss by Roald Dahl. How cool is that? Yeah. I mean, and Roald Dahl is a good author, so. Speaking of, trickery with a kitty. Mm-hmm. And then um, Madame Zero by Sarah Hall, another short story collection. And Kitty Kitty. I think I saw this one on Mercedes' channel. Yes. And then last but not least, this was a total impulse buy because I've been seeing it a lot lately. I got Margaret Atwood's Alias Grace. So yeah. Thanks for watching and yay. I will chat with you soon. Bye.